how to apply at the Vets University. In this video, I am going to show you how to apply for the first time and how to reapply at the first university. Please note that this video is not sponsored by the university or by the government. <coughs> so if you see value in this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Please make sure that when you send the inquiries, you send them with true respect. You do not, you do not take the respect. Without wasting any time, please let's go to an internet browser that you are using. So go to the Vets University's website. Then once you are here, you can read more about the university. You don't have to go there and yeah, just click where it says study at. Once you are on this page, I can show you how to view the prospectus in a shortest way. For example, let's say you're interested in a qualification or you know the name. You can just click the name, uh, search the name here. Then after that, you can indicate the course type, whether it's undergraduate or postgraduate. Then after that, you click search course here. Everything that is related to engineering or industrial will appear here. So now to view the requirements, just click on one of these that you want. You can see the duration, the faculty, the department. Uh, it is full time. So this is the overview of the uh, qualification. You can read about it. You can check the career opportunities if you want to know if you complete that qualification what can you become then after that if you want to know the modules that you will be doing you can check them here uh, by on the curriculum and check yeah all the modules that you'll be doing for first year second year until you are done for entry requirements you just click here then you can see this the requirements that they want they want 40 uh, point they want you to have level five uh, in most of your subject English, maths, and science. But please note that they will first prioritize students who have level six, level seven going upwards. So do not fight when you see that now you are rejected because you met the requirements. They will first prioritize those students there. For closing date, you can see that they, uh, they are closing on the 30th of September and also for residents. So make sure that you apply by then, you pay the application fee by then, you upload all documents by that time before the closing time. For inquiries, please make sure that you conduct here. They do pick up calls here. You can log a call or inquiry or send them uh, if you can click this ask it here, I think there are some questions that they are already been answered there. So you can check, yeah, and also try to call them. Or you can alternately speak to this good bot guy here or girl. Um, just click here, then after that, um, you can enter your name or ask what you would like to ask here. You can see for everything, fees, payment, uh, application, you click here. Uh, it will show you maybe the fee, it tells you maybe you check the application fee or service PG application, fee. then it tells you 200. Yeah, you see, you can just find more information with that thing here. So let's go back here and uh, go back to study at. So it is how you check your qualifications or the requirements, yes. So make sure that documents that are needed will, will be obviously depends at your level of your study, but the most cumbersome ones, it is your result, ID copy and the, the proof of payment. So you can pay online or you can um, uh, deposit at the, I think it at the standard bank, we will see as we continue here. So click with this apply online. It will take you to this page. If you already have a temporal ID, you can click in here and with your password. So if you've forgotten a password, you can click here, forgotten temporal ID or password. It will be sent to your email address that you used when you were applying here. So if you forgot it, please call the university. So let's say now you are a new student, click here where it says create temporal ID, enter your personal information here. Let's enter it and see. Then after entering your information, make sure that you enter the security code that you've been given here. Then click continue. So here, this is the summary of your information. Uh, just make sure that you uh, confirm, review them uh, before it has been sent. Then after that, you click continue. So now an email has been sent uh, to you with your temporal ID and uh, with your uh, temporal password I believe. 
So what you should do now, just go to your email addresses. Then you will see an email from the Vets University. It has your temporal ID and also it has your password. So now what you should do uh, on your email, just make sure that you enter the email address, the email address that you used when you are applying here, as it is. Then after that, you enter the temporal ID that they gave you. Then you enter the password that they give you. Usually, it is the first digit, the first digit of your ID number, the, the last two numbers of your year, your month, and your date. Just in case you don't get it. Then after that, you click OK. So it will, even if you've, you have forgotten your password, you'll go through the steps after clicking forgotten password. You will be sent the temporal ID and that password, then you it will take you exactly the steps just follow the exact steps then here you can uh, create your password that you will uh, not forget so make sure that you create the password that you will not forget if it aligns it will take you to the other page so this one is not matching sorry then after that you click ok you can update it or save it here if you are using your own things you can see that your password has been successfully changed you can then click ok then now all the steps that will be taken is for everyone that wants to reapply. Yeah, you can confirm your temporal password if you want to. You don't want to now. So yeah, uh, you click log in. Whether you are reapplying or applying for the first time, you will see this page. You like it or not. So make sure that you listen and follow the exact steps. So if you already have an existing application, you just want to edit it, you can click here. So in this case, we'll just click uh, begin here uh, because we want to create a new application. For this one, if you are a returning student, you'll already notice that here you have an applicant, applicant uh, number, ID number, which is your student number here. But if I first time still, this will appear as your terminal ID number. Then after that, application tab will indicate whether what you are applying for. In this case, let's choose um, undergraduate full time then academic year 2023 from january then after that you click continue at some point it, it might take time to process to the welcome page from clicking continue please make sure that you don't give up you just give it some time don't disturb it so yeah this is the application for this is a welcome note that you can read here yeah, you must follow yes even if you are applying for the postgraduate or yes please make sure that you follow the same steps so there are almost 17 steps if you are doing postgraduate there are 18 steps that you must follow and do here there's an application fee that is required you will see it when we are at the payment stage here okay let's start, go to the next step you need to verify your personal information make sure that it is correct these are the only things that you can change then after that just click save uh, then after that, go to the next step, indicate your study choices here, what you'd like to study. Then after that, you click uh, the academic uh, plan, if you select it's full time one year, you can add a second choice if you want to. Once you are fine with your choices, you can just click uh, continue. Then you come to this do domicilium address, uh, or, uh, you come and select it here so you enter it i can advise that you still use your physical address here at first address you enter street number street name and after that you enter your sub up you can go and search for the um sorry uh, here enter your sub up and uh, the name of your sub up here you can enter it here then after that you search with the search the address then you can see it will come up here with your postal code then you select if it is correct then yeah just like that you are done with this one you just make sure that you click save uh then you go to the next step then you residential address i will advise that you say it is the same as the domicilium to make sure things just simple and easy and straightforward then after that you click save then after that you click next then we go to the postal address. I would also say, just say it is the same as the domicilium, but it, if it is not entered the correct the correct one, then after that, click save, then after that, click next. 
then we come to the contact information all of this this is fine you just click next and then after that you click next it is fine for us then we come come to demographic uh, details your marital status will indicate if you are married your population group uh, your home language you indicate what you are and then your religious i don't think it is important this one but just indicate it do you have any disability you indicate it then after that you click save and after that you click next so we come to the next of kin information you enter the next of kin the person that you are staying with or that you know that they can find whenever you are not available or there's something that is happening you enter uh, their cell phone number then you enter the home cell phone number this commercial then you can enter the relationship with that person then their email address then the address of this person you can say it is the same as the domicilium so that it will be the same as yours if you are staying together then after that you come and click save make sure that you save then after that you click next then we come in terms of images you can say it is the same as the next of kin so that they will use the information relationship with that person you indicate so yeah then after that you click save then after that you click next you see how quickly we can go to this uh, step here. Um, what is this current activities, main activity? You can indicate what you are doing this year. We can say university. If you are doing sport, you can click add here and then add sport. So I'll just leave it here. I do not want to add any sport. Then here we have a secondary uh, educational. You can indicate to a certificate or international. Are you currently in grade 12 or completed or upgrading? You can see here. They give you an option to indicate that you are uh, upgrading or you have completed. So in this case, I have completed. I am upgrading, not yet available. So you can click here if you are upgrading. Then here, you go and uh, select the name of your school. You can search with the first name. Then the name of your school will come here. If it does not come, please contact the university or check with the uh, spelling here. Then after that, the exam authority you just select your uh, province where you are studying then exam year examination year you indicate when did you write the examination year then examination number uh, i think it is required here in this case just enter it if you have it uh, but if not it's fine then uh, after just scrolling a little bit you can see that it is where you can enter your academic results here uh, you can try to search here maybe and say uh, closer and see if it was your home language then after that yeah then go to the second one then after that try to click save and see what happens then try to click next then yeah uh, Tertiary in university, if you have one, you can click here so that um, you have any previous or current studies, uh, this including vets. You can indicate, have you ever been denied this certificate? You can leave it at no what, then you can add, the, add your tertiary level here. So I will choose it to leave it at no, then after that I will click uh, the next one. Uh, this way you need to read this information and then after that you give a consent here uh, you just accept after you have read obviously this information here the uh, way you are agreeing then we go to this step uh, where you need to do payment here so you can see then application fee it is 100 rand uh, these are the banking details so you just need to indicate how you'd like to pay you can pay now on a card payment you can pay online you can do an eft now or you can just click pay later where you need to upload your proof of payment your reference uh it is your temporal id you make it as your reference then after that you can just click save and then uh, the last step it is your document uh we go to the documents okay before we come uh to this step what we need to do uh, we should validate our application so just click validate the application so that they will check any mistakes where you have left or yeah 
if everything it is fine with your application you can see your application is valid no errors has been found but if there are errors it will show you where there are errors you go and check them and change then after that you validate then after that you click next uh, go to the step where you need to upload your documents so it will tell you which documents are needed for you they need your uh, metric certificate and your application fee uh, to upload your documents just click the add button add here then after that you click my device or cell phone then you go where you have uh, saved the document and upload the correct document then after that you click upload once it is correct can you delete this document if, if it is fine then after that you just click uh, add can we delete this document uh, if it is wrong you can click there just to view it we do not want to and save it so uh, you can delete this document if it is wrong just click here the delete then after that you can upload the new document so after that just click save then uh, we are done with these important steps then after that you click because after validating your document you can see uh, your application you can see that all the steps it says complete 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 and after that just click next to the last step where you need to submit your application but before you submit make sure that everything it is correct or you can just wait for the application theme and log out here and come back it will take you where you have left so just click submit application to the university don't worry you can submit the application and pay later the application fee uh, make your reference your student number then your application fee will be fine no proof that will be needed to be uploaded if you make the correct reference after submitting your application it will tell you that your application has been submitted uh, for further processing all of this you can read it then you can just click ok then you should be able to see this as you can see after submitting the application you should be able to receiving your uh, person's number here which is your student number and the application fee that is due they are telling you to upload the document will come and use this uh, sign here so you should receive an sms and also an email confirming that you have applied here if you'd like to apply for accommodation use the self-service uh, you apply you apply any document any inquiries you call this number you can also check here there are some questions that are already been answered there so this is how you apply ladies and gentlemen uh, if you'd like to apply for resident you can click here and apply for resident but for now we'd like to leave it here as we wanted to show the academic so yeah so this is how you apply at the vets university um if you have any inquiries you can send me an email or just uh for quick response just send me an, a message on my facebook page ladies and gentlemen good luck with the applications and take care of yourselves